In this video, we're going to look at solving slightly more complicated quadratic equations by factorising. Notice in this quadratic that we don't have 1x squared, we have 3x squared. We start in the same way by drawing our two brackets and putting that equal to 0. But now for our x's, we need them to multiply to make 3x squared. Well, the only way that this can happen is if one is 3x and the other is x. This works in this case because 3 is a prime number. Now we notice that both of the signs are positive, so both of the signs are positive here. Next, we look at the number at the end, 2, and we're looking for pairs that multiply to make 2. Well, the only pair that multiplies to make 2 is 1 and 2. However, this time it matters which way we put the 1 and the 2 in the brackets, because when we multiply out, the 3x is going to be multiplied by this number, but the x is going to be multiplied by this number. So it matters which way round we put them in. We want to get 7 when we add these two different bits together. The way we do that is if we do 3 times 2 to get 6, plus 1 times 1 to get 7. So our factorised quadratic is 3x plus 1 in one bracket and x plus 2 in the other bracket. Now we solve in the same way, and we get 3x plus 1 equals 0, which gives us 3x equals minus 1, which gives us x equals minus 1 third. And the other part gives us x plus 2 equals 0, so x equals minus 2. So our final answer is x equals minus 1 third, or x equals minus 2. This one is similar, but has a negative sign in the quadratic. We start in the same way by putting in our two sets of brackets and putting them equal to 0. And this time we have 2x squared, so we need a 2x in one bracket and an x in the other. When we have a plus at the end, we know both signs must be the same. And the negative sign here tells us they're both minus signs. So we put two minus signs in. Now we're looking for numbers that multiply to make 10. And we know that both of them are negative. So it could either be minus 1 and minus 10, or minus 2 and minus 5. There are two possibilities. As with the last time, the 2x is going to get multiplied by this number, and the x is going to get multiplied by this number. So not only do we have two pairs to check, but for each pair it matters which way round the number goes. So we need to try some different options. We're trying to get minus 9 when we combine these. So why don't we start by putting 2 in here, and 5 in here. Well, now we get 2 times minus 5, and that gives us minus 10. And then minus 2 times x gives us minus 2, which is equal to minus 12. That's not minus 9. So we go back and try the next number. This time... We'll try the same numbers, but the other way around. 5 and 2. We get 2x times minus 2 gives us minus 4. And minus 5 times x gives us minus 5. That equals minus 9. So that's the one we want. Now we do the same thing. Now that we've found our brackets, we do 2x minus 5 equals 0, so 2x equals 5, so x equals 5 over 2, and x minus 2 equals 0, so x equals 2. This gives us a final answer of x equals 
5 over 2, or x equals 2. In this example, we don't have a, zero, a plus number or minus number at the end of the quadratic. This one's actually easier than the others, because we have an x in both parts of the quadratic itself, which means we can just pull the x out the front of the brackets. What do we have to multiply x by to get 5x squared? Well, that's 5x. What do we have to multiply x by to get minus x? Well, that's minus 1, and then equals 0. So now we have x, 5x minus 1 in brackets equals 0. As with the other ones, 1 of either x or 5x minus 1 must be 0. So either x equals 0, which is our first part, or 5x minus 1 equals 0, which tells us 5x equals 1, or x equals 1 fifth. So our final answer is x equals 0, or x equals 1 fifth. In the final example here, we have 4x squared minus 1 equals 0, and this has no x. We approach this in the same way, but we take the number multiplying x to be 0. So we start off by drawing our brackets and putting it equal to 0, and 2x and 2x at the front of our brackets here. It could have been 1x and 4x, but this is a very special type of equation that we will look at in a later video called the difference of two squares. So in this case, we have 2x at the front of both equations. Now, we're looking for numbers that multiply to make minus 1, while our only options are plus 1 and minus 1. So plus 1 goes in one, minus 1 goes in the other. Now 2x plus 1 equals 0, so 2x equals minus 1, so x equals minus 1 over 2, and 2x plus, sorry, minus 1 equals 0, so 2x equals 1, so x equals a half, giving us our final answer of x equals minus a half, or x equals a half.